Okay, let's walk around this uh, 1987 Land Rover 90, genuine station wagon, but converted to 200 TDI power. You'll have to excuse me, it's very windy here today, so probably the, uh, there's a lot of wind noise on the microphone, I should imagine. But um, we'll do what we can, but uh, apologies for that. It's just been uh, completely stripped and uh, quite nicely restored by its last owner. Um, it's had a full colour change to uh, this rather, bl rather bright blue, as you can see in the... Um, in the photos, in the, uh, the old photos. Uh, but it was completely stripped, so the inside's been done, under bonnet, everything. Um, and he also did things like uh, bulkhead corners and stuff like that, all replaced at the same time. Um, spec wise, it's got rather a lot of uh, things on it. Let's see if the tyres are a matching, tire, matching size, but no, the near side rear one is a, it's a different one. Um, We'll start from this corner. What have we got? Um, standard on this one. It's got that on it. Uh, obviously, full county um, county roof. It's proper county with uh, headlining and uh, sliding side windows and alpine lights and stuff. Um, we've got what have we got on the top of it? We've got a light bar with um, four spots on the front there and also a CB system. Um, which isn't to everybody's taste, I must admit, but uh, can always come off again. It's got checker plate on the modesty covers, rear quarters, door bottoms, wing tops, uh, bonnet top and uh, winch bumper. Uh, it's got uh, Tomb Raider style side steps on it. Um, raised air intakes. On the front end, it's got, that's a champion winch under there. I know it's got a T-Max cover on it, but it's actually a champion winch under there, brand new, um, on winch bumper. It's also got the factory steering guard under the front and uh, custom chrome aluminium uh, light covers and uh, grill with two spotlights in there, which I know work. Um, it's got snorkel. Mud flaps all down, rear bumper belts. Um, rear step incorporating tow pack with twin electrics, tailgate mounted spare wheel, rear work light and inside it's got um, it's a six seater it's got twin seats in the front that again are blue um, blue trim or blue and black uh, seat covers on the seats I don't know what the seats are like underneath in fact but uh, the seat covers are so well fitted I've left them on um, a radio CD with mp3 capability and twin rear bench seats in the back and um, sound deadening matting throughout and uh, checker plate Rear, um, rear door card. Anyway, let's go around and pick out uh, some good bits and bad points. Very few bad points if you like blue. Because um, it is quite a bright colour. It looks like a sort of Audi blue, this one. Uh, we have got some of the paint left. Well, we didn't paint it, but we've got some of the paint left that uh, Jap's given us if you need to touch it up or anything. Uh, but it's very, very, very straight and, uh, and clean. He's done a pretty nice job and it has been sprayed rather than uh, rolled or anything. So it's, uh, it's quite a nice job all round. Looks like we've got most of the dinks and donks out of it. It's all nice around the front end here, there's just some bug marks from I did a long journey about 150 miles the other day, so uh, some bug marks around the front. Looking down the near side, looks very very straight down there, very nice. Um, oh, it's also got, one thing I didn't mention, it's got um, breathers on it for wading. Uh, up here around the scuttle corner, that's just a bug up there, but this is all new up here, it's very nice, good job. A post looks good, no electricity reaction anywhere. There's a couple of minor runs in the paint here and there. Um, this is all quite nice. It's, oh, it's also got wind deflectors on it, I missed that. Um, the only bit that isn't painted quite so well is the roof, it's fair to say. The paint on the roof is a little bit thin. It wasn't at all, guys, so I can understand that. Oh, it's another step ladder. Um, just looking inside it, very, very smart in here. As I say, the seat covers are the nicely fitted ones. I can't feel any splits in the seams, but that's not to say there aren't any splits in the seams underneath. But um, the seat covers are that well fitted, I don't really want to disturb them and take them off. Um, headlining's all there and all nice. Uh, it's all quite nice and smart in here, simple as that. Oh, it's a centre cubby box as well. Um, it's all been sound deadened under there, but it all looks quite smart. Passenger door frame is very, very good indeed. It's also got holes cut in the bottom to let water out, which is no bad thing. Near side rear wing is very good. Just a sort of a nasty run in the paint just down there actually, just on the back of the near side rear wing. Um, but van side is all good. 
around the tail end it's all nice as well so it's a few sort of minor runs in the paintwork in the back here again matted in here bench seats that are all quite nice and new that's the original speedo down there um, the speedo has been replaced it's all all good there tailgate again tailgates first class really good indeed looking down the offside um, driver's door sits very slightly proud but it may have had new rubbers on it I guess um, but offside rear wing is very nice offside door again very good offside front wing again very very good um, and the scuttle corner up here is splendid so no, that's, that's just been done a post is all good inside here it all looks nice and again the driver's door frame is spot on as I say if you like a bright one it certainly is that it's been a lot of money spent on it it's loads of bills it's been really quite well done that's about it I think my name's Simon you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk um, we can ship it anywhere like in the world we can uh, obviously deliver it in the UK we take part exchanges and we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards that's about it end